I don't have a lot of stitching to do to put these together. <laughs> okay. Basically, that music's really annoying. Let me turn that down a lot. That's still quite loud. Better. Right, basically, where was I? Okay, it's a bit like a roguelike and then it's proceed procedurally generated every time you go into the castle. It takes a lot of its cues from games like Castlevania and it aims to throw that difficulty curve at you. But the good thing about it is that unlike Castlevania, when you die, it's not game over. And I'll show you why shortly. As I'm sure you can guess, I'm not very good at this sort of game. We have a little, a quick little tutorial here. Right, if Fraps could keep to the same frame rate, that'd be wonderful. But it keeps chopping and changing frame rate, so I get these horrible skips. It's really, really annoying. Okay, so that's the tutorial, and you can beat up on one of those. Let's just go straight into the castle for now. I'll show you what happens. Might just have been all those sepia tones it didn't like. Basically, it's always a good idea. Always a good idea to break everything you can find because there's so much, um, so much gold lying around. Now, as you can see, there's a map there. I think right now, are we in the castle? Yeah, we're in the castle. Ooh. These things don't look fun. Yeah, I'm going to die very soon on this plate. With these things. He can obviously... Oh, he can't fire through walls like I thought he could. He can't, never. Nice big eye that shoots blood. <laughs> Paintings that come to life and try to kill you. Basically, I mean, because it's completely randomly generated every time. You get a new layout. So there's no point trying to remember what way to go. Okay, that just doesn't look fun at all. Let's not go that way. Ow, that was silly. Yeah, so I've got my health and my magic points in the right. Up in the right. I can't remember how to use... Okay, that's how I use my... My second atta secondary attack. said I wasn't too good at these sort of games and I'm beginning to show that I'm not really not. Oh man, this frame rate drop is making it nearly impossible sometimes. I don't want to go get that, I'll die. I may as well. Okay, I'm still alive. Good. Okay, not for long. There we go. So, it tells you what killed you, progress made, and you get to move on. At least I should be able to. Okay, oh, it's just running really, really slowly. Wow, that's a really bad frame rate. Got about five frames per second here. Oh my word. Okay, so basically now I can choose one of these three. Oh, just two. Oh, no, it is three. These three characters, which each have certain traits. <laughs> I'm a fan of the man. 
my M HP, blah blah blah, HP and MP are swapped. And they have different spells. Peripheral arterial disease, no foot pulse. Alright. Let's have a go at this guy. Basically, with all your spent gold, with all your gold, you buy access to new parts of a castle. Um, you can buy new equipment. So I'm just going to I'm going to play through some of this, and it's definitely worth getting some of these health up. Upgrade the knight, and as you buy stuff, you unlock more parts of the castle. Or the manor. So I'm going to exit the manor. Speak to this guy. He basically tells you that you can get the equipment from him by getting blueprints. And equipment is the key to being able to survive a bit longer. To get back into the castle, I have to speak to this guy. His, the toll is all the gold you have left, so it's worth spending whatever you pick up. So that means if you have a particularly disappointing run and you're going to get something small, you're going to have to live with it. Alright, so let's see how this run goes. This first room is always the same. So there's no point waiting too long. Ooh, I'm really not doing very good here. Ooh, I'm about to die already. <laughs> Told you I wasn't very good at these things. Okay. <laughs> no. Yay, gold and stuff. So at least it wasn't a total waste. Okay, here's some health. Okay, oh, and there's the death. Yeah, didn't get very far that time. This is running a lot better now for some of this. I must have just been waiting to load a lot of stuff. Okay, so again, you have a new, a new set of heroes to choose from. You can go back and view your family tree. This is the guy that you play in the little demo, it seems. The tutorial. That's your first guy. That's just my second guy. So I can freeze all enemies on screen. Okay. Break stuff first for MP. Okay, that's good. Some of the traits can be quite funny. A lot of hindrances, I think. I'm going to have a look at this. Okay, it's worth getting as many parts of the manor as you can. If you get a particularly good run, you can lock down the castle that you're in and come back to it with this guy. I'm going to go with the Enchantress. I know I don't have enough gold to buy anything yet. So... I'm going to see what else I can unlock. That'll do. What you got to say to me? Do you got anything new? Yeah, 150 gold for some of this stuff. 200, 250. The Enchantress is much the same. I can do all this stuff for you. You can sprint runes, vault runes to jump higher, etc, etc. Ooh, hello, what's going on? Ooh, I'm, I am actually 2D. Okay, interesting. Yeah, laugh while you want me, I didn't give you anything. Okay. So I'll do this next run. See how long I last. No, I can't. Okay. So 
sometimes it's not immediately clear what's destroyable and what isn't. <laughs> I'm going to die very quickly again, I think. The game gets a little easier as you buy more equipment and stuff. You can do like more damage and take more hits. Okay, so I've been here. That's where I came up from, so let's see what happens if I go down here. Ah. So of course, that's a Doomvis. Should have seen that coming. That was a pretty mediocre run. Lady Chun Li, the mage. That could be gigantic. Trade Vertigo. Okay, 160. I may have enough to buy something. So let's see. I'll probably regret doing this. No. Got a new helm. Excellent. So I equip that. There we go. Okay. Balding. Sometimes there's just so much going on that you have to. that it takes a. that it's difficult to focus. And one of the traits for this character was that I exaggerate a lot of the things. So sometimes when I get hit, I will. it'll show up an insane amount of health. Ooh, ah, getting out of that room. we'll get plenty of opportunity to see that during the course of this playthrough. And you can jump pretty high already without some power-ups. Ooh, that was stupid. Yeah, as you can see there, 360. Ah, oh my word. Okay, these guys are insane. very long in there. Difficult to see just how much damage they're doing when I keep exaggerating it. Okay. Can't see colours. Not really sure that's going to be helpful. Dwarfism. Here we go. Some of the dwarf characters are handy to have. I don't think I can really get anything. Because there are secret routes. They can only get, for example, if you're really small. Yeah, I'm gonna lose all this. And 
some of these secret rooms you can only get to when you're small. So, you might be able to come across one. Ah, of course. Ah, yes. I picked a character with OCD, so breaking stuff gives me mana points back. objective is to make your way through as much of the castle as you can. Ah, they just ran me. Make your way through as much of the castle as you can and get the end boss. There's some gigantic eyeball thing, I think. Alright, I'll take some health. Man, I'm loving these critical hits. I mean, you got some bug standard timing and jumping puzzles. And you have journals left about to give you clues to what's going on. Conquer the castle. That's that guy's plan. My plan. Okay, level 22, I'm level 6. Yeah, I'm getting out of there. I don't remember seeing that in the demo. Oh, crap, that was stupid to sit there. Okay. Ah, I'm dead. Annoyingly as well, it's one of those games that touching things kills you. So let's see what this vertigo stuff's about. Ooh, 150. Ah! Okay. Wow. <laughs> yeah, do not adjust your set, folks. This is... Yeah. Everything is upside down. I don't see that's going too well. I can't even see how much gold I have. Much? Is that 160? This is really difficult. health I have, can't see, can't really work anything out. That's a teleporter to the boss area, I think. Let's have a look and see for a laugh. Oh, no, to a random part of the castle. I think I'm near death. There we go. <laughs> Anyone want to give me a clue? Okay, remind me never to play before to go again. No footballs. Alright, I mean, so that's basically Rogue Legacy. I'm going to save out, I'm going to spend some coins here, then I'm going to save up, save out and try and 
See if I can come back a little further. Maybe try and get some equipment. Come back a little later on. I'll show you guys what's going on. Alright. See you all next.